Hey guys and welcome. I want to talk to you for a minute about a product that is now going to be available on c4depot.com. You can go to c4depot.com and select the C4 Depot models, go into vehicles, and you'll find a whole bunch of awesome vehicle models available. In this case, cars and trucks. There will also be aircraft and trains and underwater equipment. And you can find all of the Roar 3D products that are featured in C4Depot.com. Uh, at any point in time, you want to take a look at a vehicle. If you have a question, please feel free to reach out to me at Roar at Roar3DSolutions.com. But let's talk about this new product that's going to be available here in the next couple of uh, days. And what we have here is uh, it's a semi truck that is rigged and uh, with Espresso, and it is designed in Cinema 4D for Cinema 4D, and it's not uh, currently available in other formats. And I just want to go through the rig a little bit to show you what we have here. So we have a low and high detail. The low detail essentially removes the interior and makes it much simpler to. Uh, work with uh, in the navigator and gives you a much simpler detailed model as to where the high detail will give you a detailed interior uh, you know seating uh, CB radio uh, all kinds of equipment in here that uh, you'd expect to see in a, a semi truck now I don't own a semi truck nor am I a driver so please forgive me if I'm missing uh, any kind of details that uh, any truck drivers want please ask and if you request some additional items, happy to help you here. Uh, and what we have here is a couple of different options that you can use to help the, uh, the experience. So you have your level detail editor. Now this will allow you the ability to bump up the detail in the editor if you want to do a quick look. Now what I did was I went into uh, display and selected the, uh, the garage shading with lines. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and remove that for right now because I am rendering some things and my computer is working a little bit hard. And I'll go back to regular garage shading. What you also have is the level detail renderer. And what that will allow you to do is to go ahead and bump that render subdivision level up and you'll get a real nice output when you actually render the uh, vehicle inside of uh, C4D. Okay, what you also have here are a couple of other options. You can remove the semi-trailer, and then what you get is just the cab. All it's going to do is hide it from the renderer and the editor. I also have a couple of options here for hiding some rivets because I have included uh, rivets onto the vehicle, and this just makes your, uh, your computer speed up a little bit when you're working in the editor. But it doesn't remove it from your, your final uh, render. So. And then in the semi-trailer, we have a couple of very simple functions like, sorry, the jack stand that will actually come down to the base of the wheels. And uh, should you decide to drive the truck away kind of thing from the, uh, um, uh, from the trailer, uh, you have the ability to go ahead and raise that back up, open the rear doors. And I've made a fairly simple interior design that is a little on the rough side and it's meant to be because uh, I haven't seen many very beautifully clean trailers, so I made it a little bit, uh, uh, a little bit obnoxious. Uh, and then what we have is some simple controls. So you want to change the color of the vehicle, make it blue, and boom, you have blue. And you have uh, we're using the GGX uh, 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 reflection, so you have the ability to really uh, change a lot of powerful options to. Uh, adjust your clear coat and give your give yourself a really nice output depending on what you're going for. For the moment I'm going to stick with the red and the white. And then reflections kind of speak for themselves. As I showed you earlier, this is the reflection at 35% with a uh, just an HDRI in the background. It has a nice output and, uh, and it doesn't seem to be uh, overloading the system whatsoever. Um, and then you also have a stripe color and the stripe color I'll go ahead back to blue again and you can change that along with your little nose cowling here okay and then what we have here for simple controls 
You have the driver's door that will open and close, the passenger's door that will open and close, and everything uh, should be a child that is on the door uh, to be able to open and close it. You also have the ability to control your windows because sometimes we want the windows to go up and down. Okay, and I'm going to close those back up. You have window wipers, which uh, will function as you run the timeline. They will open it or they will run uh, as long as the timeline is active. You have the ability to turn the wheels, which will turn the steering wheel and the main wheels. So if you apply this to a spline and you want to try and follow that track, you can go ahead and drive this manually with an auto key or you can, uh, uh, you can set it up to be able to follow. And then uh, the lights, I'll go ahead and unhide the lights and you can see what's going on here. Lots of lights on the vehicle and on the, the trailer. Uh, for obvious reasons, there's a lot of lights on semis and it seems like uh, they're very proud of all the lights that they do have on their vehicles. So I've uh, tried to follow that routine and give them lots and lots of lights. Uh, you have running lights, which will give you kind of the overall glow amongst the entire vehicle along with the trailer. Uh, you have your headlights which will obviously shine the headlights along with a couple of, of omni lights that will give it a nice glow as if your headlights are running. You have interior lights which will give you a nice little glow red-ish, reddish uh, orange on the interior. And then of course we have right and left turn signals and that's probably easiest just to show you um, going in here. So we'll unhide it again and I'll run the timeline and that's set on a modulo so that when you're uh, when you're actually using the, the blinker it will have kind of a nice fade in fade out effect. So that's about as simple as it gets for this vehicle. Uh, again, you guys can get this at c4depot.com. We really appreciate uh, any patronage that you have to uh, all the uh, the staff at C4 Depot. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. I hope this is helpful. And if you have questions, by all means, email me at roar at roar3dsolutions.com.